If we're gonna make New York pizza, we're gonna do this right. We just landed like 20 minutes ago. We're on the street, probably in the most hated area by all New Yorkers, but we had to come here to visit Joe's, one of the most iconic New York pizza shops. And we're gonna go there with my friend Cam. Vicar, I have your slice, young man. This is smart. This is a good idea. Wouldn't it be <laughs> awful if you just fell through this? Yeah, that's honestly my worst fear. Joe's Pizza, one of the places that started it all, and I have one of my very good friends, Cameron, with me. He's chefing it up in New York. Now, this isn't about Neapolitan pizza. This is about New York pizza. Look at this. Never ever eat a New York slice of pizza like this. You'll get the sh beaten out of you. You have to fold it. It's a little difficult to eat, to be frank. With the classic New York screaming anger, this is gonna go well. <laughs> it's got the chew, it's got the crisp that you want, but what I noticed about this is the sauce is actually pretty sweet. If you did sauce like this in Italy, they would pick you up by your coat and throw you into the air and blast you with a cannon of sauce. But in New York, for some reason, it's okay. I like it. Long story short, first stop, big W. The crust is iconically itself. On to the next. Next stop, we're at Two Bros Pizzas. Visually, this one isn't as exciting to me. The other one was bigger and it seemed cheesier. <laughs> That's a classic. This is like Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Ew. You don't want another bite after that. There's certain aspects I like better, but generally I don't like it better than the last one. So the, you have it right here. Cam said he does not like it. The crust is not crisp. It's a lot thicker, like a cakey. The, the sauce is really sweet, like ketchup. Long story short, I'm getting an idea of what New York pizza is. I'll put it in my brain. We have one more spot to go to after this. So we're at Scars. So far, this is like the best looking one. I heard they're milling some of their own flour, and yet they're keeping the price similar, if not the same as Joe. Joe's, but a ketchup, pal. Oh man, of course this guy's gonna pull over right here. This is the one, this is what I needed. I do wanna note, we did get one slice of Sicilian, not related to this, I just really wanted it, so try to ignore that. But this pizza, out of all the three that we've tried, miles, miles above the rest. This is the marker. I've had a lot of New York pizza, this is actually one of the best slices I have had. Scar's Pizza, you're doing it right, thank you for that. Let's go back. See if we can do this. We're back in the kitchen. Oh, have we ever left? Who knows? Here's the JW summary. Number one, Joe's. Not bad. A traditional New York pizza. Nothing wrong there. Number two, Two Brothers. It's cheap pizza. Not my favorite, personally. And the third, Scars, which is now one of my favorites. Very, very good. So we have all the knowledge. It's encapsulated. Let's put that together and make the closest New York pizza that we can at home. So with all that being said, let's make this, shall we? This pizza is shockingly easy, so let's get to it. First thing, the dough. The heart and soul to your pizza. If you think that it's not important, then you need to go to like a psychiatrist. It's easy. To a large bowl, add 950 grams of all-purpose flour. Uh-oh, Josh, you're using grams again. Yep, this is pizza. It's too important to be anything but accurate. You want a perfect dough each time with no mistake? Use grams. To that, add 19 grams of fine sea salt and 25 grams of granulated sugar. Yes, we're using sugar in the dough. Public apology to the Italians watching this, but please understand this is New York not Italian pizza. Give it a whisk until combined, then separately find yourself 617 grams of lukewarm water around 95 Fahrenheit, ideally water from New York. You can get it shipped out, but do so at your own risk because you don't know where that water comes from. Now whisk in 14 grams of instant yeast till dissolved, add all of your yeast juice to your flour mix and mix by hand until you get a rough dough. It'll be a little sticky, but do your best to knead that bad boy for about four minutes or until you get a relatively smooth boy. Generously grease a large bowl with olive oil, shape your dough into a toit ball, pop it into your bowl, cover with greased plastic wrap and rise in the fridge overnight. This is a crucial step to develop that nice pizza crust flavor and color. From there, gently punch down your little man, respectfully, plop onto a lightly floured work surface, and divide into pieces weighing about 300 grams each. Roll each of those pieces into a light ball, place into a lightly floured proofing box or a rimmed baking sheet, leaving room in between each to account for, you know, spread. Cover that with a lid or greased plastic wrap and let it proof for two to three hours at room temp or till doubled in size. Now, while that's proofing, huh, you're gonna spin around in circles, tap your toe. No, we're making tomato sauce. Again, this is very against the JW grain for tomato sauce, but hear me out. In a medium sauce pot, add two tablespoons or 24 grams of extra virgin olive oil, four cloves of garlic thinly sliced, three and a half tablespoons or 49 grams of unsalted butter. Let that melt and booble. Cook, stirring occasionally until the garlic begins to toast to a nice light golden brown. Then add one teaspoon or two grams of crushed red pepper flakes, saute for 20 seconds. Then add a 28 ounce can of crushed San Marzano tomatoes, plus about a cup or 240 milliliters of water swirled around in that can, you know, getting all that loosened up. Stir that together. Add one tablespoon or 13 grams of granulated sugar. Then add one teaspoon or one gram of dried thyme and one and a half 
teaspoons or two grams of dried oregano or oregano if you're from UK. Sorry, had to call it out. Season to taste lightly with salt and finally add one yellow onion skinned and cut in half, leaving the root attached. You know, you take the root off, it's gonna fall apart in there, all right? Is that what you want? Bring it up to a simmer and cook that down, stirring occasionally for 20 minutes. Then just remove the soggy onion that's so kindly relinquished its flavor into the sauce. Adjust your salt levels as needed, let that cool completely, and that is your sauce that smells a little like a New York pizza shop all in one little spot. Right, so baking a pizza. We've had this talk before. You can either use a home oven with a baking steel or pizza stone inside, which will be preheated to the maximum temp your oven goes, all right? Not, oh, I'm gonna do 375. No, the maximum your oven goes for at least one hour prior to baking. Or, you know, you could use an actual pizza oven. Go figure. If you're using a pizza oven, you want that around 650 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just a little lower than Neapolitan and for a very specific reason. Right, bake time. Take one of your dough rounds, generously flour with all purpose, and begin punching out a very thin perimeter in the dough. Drape the dough over your hands, or fists in this case, you know, we're gonna beat it up a little bit, and shimmy it around the entire perimeter of the dough, lightly stretching it as you go until you get a pizza round about 10 to 12 inches wide. Lay it back down, place a few tablespoons of your cooled sauce in the center, spread it around in a circular motion. Once it's spread edge to edge, leaving a little bit of a border, that's the uh, crust if that's not evident, top with a generous amount, and by generous to your heart's desire, of grated low moisture mozzarella, or mozzarella, depending on where you live. In grand total for all these pizzas, you'll need about one and a half pounds or 680 grams of that mozzarella. And please, fresh grate your mozzarella. I'm tired of saying it. No pre-grated stuff, okay? Once the pie hits your eye, pop it in your oven, or pizza oven if you're fancy. And for that home oven, expect to bake time about six to eight minutes, or if you're in a pizza oven, it'll be about two to four minutes instead. Be sure to rotate the pizza 180 degrees, halfway through its cooking process, so it cooks evenly. Then once it's done, you should pull out a bubbling, round beauty, lightly puffed around the crust, burnished in random spots, and that classic New York cheese grease laying right atop the center, so beautifully glistening you could practically see yourself like it's a mirror of your own mistakes about to be made. Now, repeat with the rest of your pies, and yes, this makes a lot, so feel free to refrigerate the dough balls for up to two days if you don't want to make all of them in one go. But more importantly, let's cut this beauty up and taste to see how close we truly got. We got pizza, New York style. It's not terribly different from the Neapolitan. It's just a lower temperature, longer period of time. But the main focus is the sauce, the cheese, and of course the <laughs> And also it does, in fact, fold. Kind of smells like coffee. What's wrong with that, Vikram? Vikram doesn't drink coffee. Roast him in the comments. Let's go. I'll just eat this pizza. Mm. We get a little sense of New York. Now, hang on, pause. I already know the New Yorkers are watching this. I know what you're saying. That's not a New York pizza, Josh. Oh, it's not thin enough. Blah, blah, blah. This is merely an example, okay? I think to me, flavor-wise, the profile that I'm getting from this pizza reminds me so much of that New York slice that we had. But if you really want New York pizza and you want it to be as best as possible, go to New York. But if you don't have time, this is where you go, okay? New Yorkers are, are freaking out right now. It's fine. You wanna know what else has luxurious cheese poles that make your eyes and mouth water? B-roll. All right, guys, and that is it. New York pizza. Is this an exact duplication? No, it's not. A, you don't have the New York water, which I have yet to figure out whether or not that's a reality. If you need to have New York water, I know that there's gonna be people in the comments, Josh, you have to have New York water, good Lord. Don't know, but it is a close second if you don't have time to fly all the way to New York and have the good stuff. But when you are in New York, you know where to go. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. And I like pizza. <laughs>